This is Tennessee into course practice test for algebra one. This is question number 62. Uh, Glad Gladys wants to buy a pair of pants that cost $35 before a 20% discount. She knows she can find the cost after the discount in dollars by evaluating 35 minus 35 times 0.2. She thinks she can get the same cost by evaluating 35 times 1 minus 0 0.20. What property did Gladys use to justify that these two expressions represent the same cost after the discount? Um, so just convert one of them. Let's go to the second one because she thinks this works. So we're just going to test her theory out. 35 times 1 would give you 35. 35 times negative 2.5 or negative. 35 times negative 0.2, that essentially gives you this, negative 2 tenths. See how they're the same? So she did, and all she did is use the distributive property. So just think about how you go from one to the other. Associative property is when I have the exact same statement, when I'm adding or multiplying, and I just move the uh, grouping symbol or the parentheses. Commutative is when I change the order of things, like 4 plus 3 becomes 3 plus 4. That's commutative. And the subtraction property of equality, why would that even remotely work here? I mean, what? So, no. Distributive property. Use ones you're really comfortable and aware of.